Your HTF, or high throughput fluidics unit, is the sheath fluid delivery device of the Bioplex system. An audible alarm and flashing red light on the HTF indicates an overfill. This can happen if the sheath fluid container has been raised above the HTF control unit. The sheath fluid container should always be located at least two to three feet below the HTF, usually on the floor. The correct level of sheath fluid in the HTF is between the prime and regulator lines. Often, turning the HTF off and then back on can stop the alarm and allow you to continue using your Bioplex system. If the alarm persists, follow these simple steps to resolve the issue. To stop the alarm, the HTF needs to be drained and then refilled. It is best to drain the sheath fluid into the waste container to avoid cross-contamination. To drain the HTF, turn off the HTF and the Bioplex array reader. Disconnect both the blue and white sheath fluid lines from the HTF, but leave the green air tube connected. Disconnect the orange waste line from the reader and wipe the orange connector with bleach or alcohol. Next, connect the clean orange connector to the blue HTF sheath out fitting. Now, switch the array reader on and you should observe the sheath fluid flow out of the HTF into the waste container. As soon as the HTF is empty, switch off the reader and reconnect the tubes back to their normal color-coded positions. Blue and white to the HTF and the orange connector back to the array reader. Now, turn the array reader and the HTF units on. The HTF should no longer beep and it should start refilling. If auto refill does not occur, push the prime button on the HTF and it should start filling. Confirm that the HTF has refilled to the proper level, which is between the prime and regulator lines. Now you're ready to resume normal operations with your Bioplex system. We hope this resolved the issue, but if at any time you find you need help with any of your BioRad products, please email us at support at bio-rad.com and we'll do our best to get you working again.